Words on the paper don't make sense to Candace White. It was nothing that really said anything to him. It's a child fatality report. And so he just happens to be that statistic. That statistic was Demetrius Wilson, her nephew. In the care of a great aunt, he repeatedly missed school, and at least two people called human services with fears he was being abused. Those reports went nowhere. Then, that great aunt beat Demetrius to death. When I saw it and read it, I didn't feel like it was his report. Here's why. It leveled no criticism at human services workers, instead laying blame at Denver Public Schools for systemic gaps, like failing to report Demetrius' repeated absences from class or calling other family members when the great aunt couldn't be reached. And that's not all. Seeing that report that said no recommendations after a child was reported on and they were checked on and he still ended up dead shows you that they, they don't care to change it. The report did laud what it termed systemic strengths, that after the incident, Demetrius's sister was connected to therapy. I think if you witness a murder, the least you can do is ask somebody if they want to go see a, a therapist. That's the least you can do. Another positive, that the boy's great aunt, the woman who killed him, was a certified kinship provider and had training for her caregiver role. Findings Candace White was absorbing on a solemn day the second anniversary of Demetrius's murder. We remember him on his death date, but it's not necessarily celebrated because this day changed all of our lives forever. A Denver Public Schools spokeswoman, spokesman, excuse me, disagreed with the conclusion that the failures in this case rest solely with the district. At the same time, a spokeswoman for the Department of Human Services told a state law prevents that office from discussing any specific case they've handled. In the newsroom, Kevin Vaughn, 9 News. And Kevin, what exactly happened to the woman who killed Demetrius? Mark, she pleaded guilty to child abuse resulting in death and was sentenced to 36 years in prison. Overall, just a tragic case for 8-year-old Demetrius Wilson. Kevin, thank you.